Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm your host, Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is going to be updates on both the NSA SIM heist and the Anthem breach. Let's start with the Anthem breach. This is the big healthcare breach that recently happened. Well, this week, Anthem warned that anywhere between 8.8 .8 to 18 million customers from Blue Cross or Blue Shield may also be affected. Long story short, Anthem and Blue Shield have this sort of partnership. So if you're a Blue Cross or Blue Shield customer, your data may have been stolen too. You should look into that and get some credit monitoring. Second is some updates to the NSA SIM card heist. This of course is where leaked documents from the GCHQ and NSA show that they may have breached Jamalto, a private SIM card vendor, and stole the keys associated with mobile SIM cards. Now first of all, the impact of this breach might have grown. Uh, there's been some stories on how besides KI keys, that's the key your phone uses to encrypt communications between it in the cell phone tower, uh, these actors may have also stolen OTA keys or over the air keys. There's another encryption key that's used by uh, carriers to force software downloads onto mobile devices using SMS. And if nation states have those keys, they can presumably force uh, software on certain mobile devices, which could be bad. Now, meanwhile, the other update to this story is Jamalto, the affected private organization, had a press release on Wednesday. They started their investigation, and they admit that between 2010 and 2011, they found evidence of a breach. However, they also say that it was only a breach of their office network, and they don't think anyone was able to get any sort of SIM card keys. So according to them, the SIM card keys are not leaked. And this kind of shows you the problem with this sort of story. We don't have any clear evidence one way or the other. The people that are claiming the NSA have hijacked a bunch of SIM encryption keys, they're going off PowerPoint presentations that have leaked from the government. Meanwhile, we're not sure Jamalto's right either. You know, they may not have the tools to identify how big this breach was, so there's not any clear evidence one way or the other. And the moral of the story is I would reserve judgment until we have more clear evidence. In either case, these updates are pretty interesting to me, so I thought I'd share them. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.